My name is Leon Ekimic. I'm the founder and president of Lasvit, a Czech Republic-based designer and manufacturer of bespoke lighting and glass installations. We are here in Milan showing emotions. My name is Maxim Walczewski. I'm an art director of Lasvit. I'm this year also one of the designers. I designed a piece called Frozen. I was uh, very much inspired by uh, nature when uh, water becomes ice and uh, water dripping down here is kind of a moment that uh, people just realize that they are not sure actually whether they are looking at ice or glass so then they are you know like knocking on a on a lamp and trying to kind of uh, figure out. Hi, I'm Martin Bass. We're here at the Last Fit presentation where I present Dust Pop, a collection of uh, new lamps for Last Fit. It's made all by hand, like through my uh, clay furniture collection and also with their craftsmen, uh, we made hand-blown uh, light bulbs. But it is a kind of a modular system, the arms are in various sizes, so you can kind of compose like that. And Das Pop is also one of my favorite Belgian bands, uh, if, I don't know if you know it, but that's how the title existed. Hi, I'm Eric Levy, we are at Las Vit Milano 2014, and this is there what I did called crystal rock. The idea behind this object is to create a fractal that becomes a tool in the hand of the interior architects, the designers. So it's a fractal that you can combine with it. Any classic formation or any unusual formation, it is blown into a mold and then reshaped. So we get the sharp angles and we get the reflection of the facets even when the light is off. When it's on and when it's off, it's always stayed beautiful. My name is Lev Liebeskind. I'm the son of Daniel Liebeskind and Nina. Ice is the first time that Daniel's ever done a glass chandelier. When you blow crystal, it's typically bubbly and round. Our language always has been more angular and sharp. And so we said, what would happen if we take our sharpness and impose it on the glass, which is a living thing? And the result, I think, is amazing in that it provides a really interesting counterpoint between material and form. There is craftsmanship, there is poetry behind each collection. And this year also uh, a lot of technology shown on our kinetic installations. One by Libor Šostiak, another one by Petra Krausova, that can be programmed and uh, managed from a uh, literally iPhone. And then we have a unique uh, art installation out of glass with a digital projection by Jakub Neprash. I believe we are the first company that combined glass art with a really advanced uh, high technology 